All right, so it's been a while since I've done a video, and it's also been a while since I've actually checked out my environment. It is up and running still, which is a good thing. Uh, I was work, you know, working from home due to COVID, and I forgot about lunch. So I thought I'd take lunch, and I would dive in here and give it a whirl. So brought up Altiris, and there's an update. So I just paused it so let me throw this in a video. So here we go. There's a new install. Uh, in, ah, Symantec Installation Manager. This is interesting. So it's now owned by Broadcom. Waiting for all the Symantec stuff to be removed from it and go to Broadcom. Uh, VSR is now Veritas System Recovery. When you look through the files, it still is SSR, which is Symantec System Recovery everywhere. So even Veritas is behind cleaning it up. Even now that they're on uh, Veritas System Recovery 21, there is a 21.1 beta coming out, I believe. Maybe they did it there. So let's go ahead and do an update here and see if this goes away. All right. It's a typical. Yeah, next, except next. So this will go ahead and install. All right. All right, while that's still going, we'll just, we we'll, don't know if it'll shine through, but we'll bring this in. So yeah, so here's VSR 21, it is still here. I don't think we have it set up at all to do a backup. We just installed it, that was it. All right, I'm gonna pause it, no need for empty video time. All right, so it came back up. Let's see, we have one upgrade. Take a look at what that may be. RU4. Okay, I figured that was uh, it, but I wasn't 100% positive. So let's take a look. So client management suite, inventory. I don't see an upgrade to CMDB listed in here. Uh, yeah, all right, well, let's just go. All right, I accept, next, install readiness. And we're still using the PFSense router to get out. And I'm actually in from my, from my main network. If you follow that PFSense, we created a route for my one machine here, my gaming rig. To get back to it as you see uh, there's PF sense but yeah all right let's see what do we got oh oh new version of AD, adomo.net so let's go ahead add Close. Close. It's not going to run the first time. We'll have to do it again. I usually do this from a PC. Because sometimes getting a server to do it's usually a pain. Alright. Let's try that again. What else is in this list? Upgrade checklist. That's it. So let's try and download it again. There came down this time run next next install you know I'm getting a late uh, lunch in looks like it's not gonna be that long of a lunch I have a two o'clock meeting so we'll see how far we can get with this hey 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 all right, let's um, uh, downloads next. It's there. Repair. And SQL Server 2016 finished. Click 
close check install readiness. I know the mic on this headset works pretty good at times. Hopefully it's not picking up my air conditioner in the background. All right, let's see. If this doesn't work, we're just going to reboot the server. Shut down the sim and then, oh, okay, threaten it and it goes. All right, Symantec, Event Console, Inventory, Client Management Suites. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and let this go. 1.25 gigs, it's going to take a while. So we'll jump back when it's all done and take a look around. I'm pretty sure the console is going to look the same. Uh, most likely it just supports the newer Windows 10, 1909, 2024. That's going to be the only difference. But we'll go ahead and dive in, take a quick peek around. All right, we'll be back. All right, well, I was very busy, so I can get back to it. Here we are. We're back here. And um, I never save the, on this. I always skip it. I mean, you can save the file. I've never had a need for it. All right. Licenses, next, launch console, run, notification, migration. Now there's no migration to run. I won't launch the console either yet. All right, there we go. Um, there's nothing else here. All right, so there we go. Now... That's, we're going to move on to the admin PC. All right, so we're going to go ahead. You know what we're going to do real quick? We're going to take a little note here. Let's scroll down. Oh, that's interesting. Our admin PC only has four agents. We don't have software delivery, patch management. I guess we never got that far. <laughs> okay, enabling them. All right, so first thing I want to do is snip let's go ahead and just grab this all right well this would have shown more sub agents and we would have had to upgrade them as well so obviously we're going to, have to enable them uh with our u4 there's also going to be new agents so i'll okay. Kill two birds with one stone. Okay, so first of all, let's go to help about. Uh, there it is, 85RU4 and 5713. So what do we got here? 5713. So yeah, 700. All right. So let's get that going. Settings, all settings. Where you can go settings, agents, all agent plugins. I just settings all settings it's just force a habit all right now i didn't do this originally so let's go ahead and start from ground up you have site server and non-site server upgrade agents okay say upgrade now if we click here this this my admin pc is a non-site server it is 64 bit so let's take a look <clears throat> All right, doesn't show it needs an upgrade. Not sure why not. Oh, so what I was told, um, so it shows, actually now I remember. So as it shows a zero here, you can't rely on this. You see here and go, okay, well, why enable it to count zero? Actually, the count doesn't work until you enable it. Uh, you can either clone them or you can enable them. I just enable. So we'll run down, we'll enable each of these now, because you always want to have the latest agents. Sometimes backwards compatibility will work. You don't have to have the latest agents. All right, and this is why we are missing. So it's been a while since I did the RU3 install or upgrade, whatever it was at the time. Uh, there is, I did notice in RU4, they did talk about using HTTPS for software portal. 
So this is going to be interesting. I do want to play around with this a little bit. Maybe we'll do a video on that. All right. So I always enable the upgrades and the install. Uh, we'll do power scheme. So that's nice. I mean, you can do it through group policy for power scheme as well. All right. So here's our inventory agent. Application metering. All right. Deployment. I don't use deployment server. Would love to sit back and learn it. But for now, we're just going to disable it. Linux, backup and recovery, we'll leave that disabled. Okay, we've actually got a lot going on here. Now, on our admin PC, we check it in. What, what you'll see is the agent, this window will shut down because the service stops, and then pieces upgrade, then it'll start, and it'll just keep going until it's done. So we will sort by CPU. We will check the client machine in, and as you notice, it just went to town. All right. While that's going, let's go to reports, all reports, notification server, agent. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, this is a good report to set up as an automation policy to email you every day. You get an idea of how many computers are coming in. Discover computers with agent. Uh, they don't have a default one here. Something I have is I have one that shows various agents. Um, maybe I'll try and throw that together one day. And what I do is when I'm doing an upgrade like this, it's nice. It shows a count of agents, and you can get a quick overview. How many application metering eight dot specific version? And if you're going from seven to eight, you can look at this. Go, oh wow, I have some that are still seven, and then I have a separate report that shows that you can also filter out. But um, it'll show you. You can select. Yeah, you, know, you could type in seven dot, and then application metering and hit go, and it'll show you all the machines remaining that didn't receive that. Uh, so since I can't show you that there, I can show you one other thing. If you go to jobs and tasks. So depending on how we have our configuration policies, computers will check in when they check in. You can always, I don't know if it's, uh, if they have a, yeah, here it is. Up, that's update all config. All right, let's just do this. New folder, lab tasks. All right, let's go ahead and new, I forget what it is. I think it's a client job. No, new server job. Oops. One of these will give me its tasks. There we go. Uh, update, there it is. Update client config. Update ASAP. Update lab computers. Client configuration. Uh, you can update it. You know, random period. We're just going to say go. So it's, all we did was we just created it. We didn't assign it yet. You can assign it to specific computers. Okay. Or you can just new schedule and now we just schedule it out we will add so in eight dot targets are pain uh, in seven six and below you didn't have to have targets they were hidden from what I heard <clears throat> which is fine I actually liked it not seeing it um, since we have a small lab we can just do it the easy way computers devices Select them all, or just throw them all over there. I don't know what this blank one is. Yeah, screw it. We'll throw it in there, too. Say OK. 
and schedule. Now, click it, details, these guys are complete, no clue who he is. Uh, Sent OS still is, isn't, <laughs> I never got back to that one. The Mac should, yeah, the Mac finished. All right, so those two will fail out, but that's fine. So what you'll notice is by doing that, they'll all upgrade, which is nice. So let's go take a look at our agent here. All right, one, two, three, four. We only have five so far. Takes a couple check-ins because certain pieces are needed before others. They don't all just go at once. Uh, and see, <laughs> it just went. So I believe application metering can't go until inventory. So we have app metering. I saw inventory, something else just went. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are four when you install the main Altiers piece, AXNSC.exe, and then each of these are an additional. All right, and as we said, 5706, there it is, 5713 was it, okay? Uh, let's see what we got here. Just took a minute. All right, so that looks good. Now, something else I noticed, I'll just show you. If we go to computers, let me see if it does the same thing here. Admin PC is this machine. All right, so it looks good. When I was upgrading in RU3, what I noticed was stuff like this, like how the DC is showing that but when you come here it looks fine oh, now okay so ru4 is a little bit better with this uh you click here you do this you refresh and it goes green so it still is a little oh here we go so see the mac did not get everything yet all right jobs and tasks quick run A Mac. In progress, queued. So who knows what's going on with that? All right. So that looks good. All right. So our computer is up, and we are good. We can patch. We can do everything. Uh, take a quick look here. What do we? I don't think we have anything configured. So maybe I'll do the next video. Are you for a patch? Are you for inventory and all those? I don't want to get too far. This is more so just installing a quick poke around. All right. Software and bulletins. What do we got? Yeah, PM import is not configured. Oh, it is. It's just not set to run on a schedule. So we'll do that later too. Oh, geez, I also checked everything off. Zoom is in there. Look at that. Zoom. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for now.